In this video we present Contovi, an approach for multi-party conversation exploration using topic space views. Contovi is designed to capture the dynamics of a conversation. That's why we attempt to model the interactions between speakers. So let's open the topic floor for a discussion. Each of the participants contributes to the debate and influences the discussion with a different topic. In this work, we are not only interested in analyzing the speaker topic distribution, but we are also interested in the sequence of their appearance. In particular, we are interested in exploring how speakers interact for a given topic, and which speakers push a certain topic and who changes the subject. So following the metaphor of a conversation floor, we place the topics on the outside of the floor starting at 12 o'clock and moving clockwise. We call this the topic space. But what about the different topic length and the topic ordering? To order the topics meaningfully, a base topic can be selected interactively and all topics are ordered based on their similarity to this base topic. The length of the arcs indicates the length of the topics. In the inner space of the topic floor, we can position speakers and their utterances according to their topic membership degrees. We do that using a force directed layout. For each time frame in the conversation, we can therefore place all relevant speakers and abstract them as dots. All past utterances can be grouped to their top topic using a sedimentation metaphor. Each dot in these segments represents one utterance and is caved to the utterance length. We designed four different views into the topic space to address different analytical tasks. First, the discussion overview of all speakers to get an intuition of how the conversation evolves. The second view is the speaker trade view with the topic loops. This view is designed for a focused analysis of a specific utterance. The third view is the utterance sedimentation view, which enables the analysis of an ongoing debate without losing the focus on past utterances. The last view is the speaker path view, for a detailed inspection of the movement of one speaker in the topic space. The discussion overview is the simplest view. It shows the movement of all speakers and allows to identify interesting high-level patterns such as topic shifts and the number of speakers that are active at a particular time in the conversation. In the next view, we introduce the topic glyphs. These are designed to depict the similarity of each utterance to all topics on the edge of the topic space. Using this view, a user can analyze a particular time frame in more detail to identify patterns or to focus on a specific utterance. The utterance sedimentation view enables us to review a complete conversation by not only focusing on the interaction of speakers, but also by analyzing the topic membership of past utterances. In this particular debate, we can see topics where Romney is more active than Obama, and we can easily depict the moderational topic at 12 o'clock. In addition to the animated views, we can explore the speaker paths in the topic space to see how different people address different topics. In addition to exploring the speaker interactions, we are also interested in how speakers argument. So far we have been examining speakers and topics, however we are also interested in the stances the speakers take in their utterances. For example, if they are trying to generate a common ground in their turn, or whether they assure their opponent. We are also interested in the amount of reason and conclusion giving of each speaker turn. For each utterance, we identify linguistic features that point to a specific speaker stance, or tell us the relative amount of reason and conclusion giving. 
we then visualize these in an argumentation glyph. This glyph maps the eight most frequent speaker stances to the inside as binary values and the relative amount of justification to the outside, starting at 9 o'clock and going to 3 o'clock on both sides of the glyph. The more reason or conclusion, the darker the respective arc gets. We can group the argumentation glyphs according to their different speakers to fingerprint their utterances and use these to identify interesting utterances for further reading. When clustered, the argumentation glyphs show groups of similar utterances, which typically belong to the same speaker. We can also overlay these glyphs onto the topic space view to analyze different argumentation patterns with respect to the topics over time. Thank you for watching this video.